All right, so we're over here at the uh, Black Magic, and I'm with Stuart, who is uh, going to tell us about the uh, the new one of the products that's probably making the biggest buzz at the show here is the new Black Magic camera, and uh, Stuart's going to tell us a little bit about it. Hi, thanks very much. Um, yeah, so uh, Blackmagic this year have announced the Blackmagic Cinema Camera. Yep. Um, what's unique about this camera is that it's a 2.5K uh, resolution which shoots in Cinema DNG, um, also shoots in ProRes, and also shoots as well in uh, DNX HD. Um, it records to an SSD, so it's a standard SSD, not a proprietary SSD. Um, it's got a very high dynamic range, which means that you've got 13 stops, which is the same as a film camera. Um, the camera also has a Thunderbolt connection on there and also an SDI connection on there, which means that you can actually take Thunderbolt directly from the camera um, to, a, to, say, a, a Mac. Um, so it, it's kind of trying to take a, a couple of examples out there in the market at the moment and trying to evolve slightly. We're not trying to copy something. We're trying to, I suppose, revolutionize. Um, the reason that we've opted for three different codecs and the resolution that we have um, is that we've been sort of hanging off cameras for a number of years with our editing, editing products. Um, and also, as well, we've obviously got DaVinci Resolve, which um, we, we've obviously had the, the, the benefit of seeing what makes a good image to grade with and what is a poor image to grade with. Um, so, we, so we've been fortunate to go, okay, well, 2.5K is a great resolution to work at. If we have all that latitude in the dynamic range, when we come to do our grade, we're going to be able to keep all the detail in the whites and the blacks. Um, and, and yeah, I mean, the, the results of the show have been fantastic. We've had a lot of, a lot of interest. Yeah. Now, I noticed that the, uh, this is really interesting when I was looking through the press release on that. For the camera, it's $29.95. That's right, so it's $29.95. You also get DaVinci Resolve with it for free. Which is a $1,000 piece of software. And we also get Ultrascope as well. Which is a $800 piece that's, of software. So, you know, you're almost, you're paying about, what, $1,800 and getting a camera for $1,000. <laughs> and getting those really good pieces of software with it as well. Yeah, pretty much. I and mean, I think that what we want to try and do is give people the ability not just to acquire, but also to actually then take that footage that they, they've, they've acquired and actually make, add the gloss to it, which is, which is uh, what is essentially going to finish that off. So, yeah. so we're trying to do whatever we can to give people a full solution. Yeah. And that, that 2995 does not include a lens because it's an EF lens mount. So it's EF and ZF compatible. So any of your Zeiss lenses, any of your Canon lenses should fit no problem. Um, it's, uh, it doesn't come with a lens. It does come with a, with a, a sunshade. Um, there's also some optional um, bulbard handles that you can buy for $195. Um, we're already taking pre-orders for it now and um, you know, we're hoping to ship around about the end of July. End of July this year? Yeah, that's right. Oh, okay. See, we were, we, we were told next year, but end of July this year, so that's pretty fantastic. That's right. I mean, our, our aim is to try and get this out as soon as possible. Um, we're already in the sort of final stages of development at the moment. We've got a few more things we just want to tweak, um, but, um, but yeah, all being well, these should be in people's hands by the summer. All right. Very good. So that's the, uh, the new Blackmagic Cinema Camera. Cinema Camera. That's right. Right. And uh, if you're uh, doing EFP production and want to uh, have the highest quality image available, pretty cost-effective option. So uh, visit their website at blackmagic-design.com. There you go.